over the past couple of years, we've seen a lot of charts on television, haven't we? Yeah, because there's been people following statistics in the past couple of years. And I, I always think these days, would they put this chart on television? Mm. Yeah, let, let's quickly go and create this uh, combination. So so the streaks, let's see if I can put the streaks in. in. If this cell does not equal the cell above, this, this feels like it's going to get really messy. Is it that messy? W, W, it's going to be an L. If not, it's going to be W. Okay. If not, then it says streak. Okay. That's what I've tried to do there. It's just this formula it feels difficult to me. So I've tried to take an intermediary step, do something simpler first. And specifically, I've created the formula so it only caters for situations where a streak finishes. So we're not going to worry about the situation yet where a streak is ongoing. So when a streak finishes, the W changes to an L. That's what I've tried to express here. So if the cell above doesn't equal the current cell, then that means the streak has changed. And then this, this should be L actually. So it should work only where the streak changes. Okay, streak changes there. That's a streak. Streak changes there. Streak changes there. Go away chart. Alt P A P. Alt P A P. Uh, we'll bring up the selection pane and then we just go see in a bit chart. That selection pane is so useful. Alt P A P on the Windows PC. So that seems to be working fine. So I've just used this placeholder idea. For the time being, I'm just putting some text in there so that Excel can display something. And that allows me to understand that Excel's understanding things so far. So if there's a street, then we need to get in into numerical land, actually, don't we? So I want rather than a W, I just want a one rather than an L, I just want a minus one. So we've, we've accounted for when the streak changes from win to loss or from loss to win. If the streak is continuing, then if cell above is more than zero, then we're on we're on a winning streak. It must be the cell above plus one, continue the winning streak. If not, it's going to be the cell above minus one. Yeah, that's going to continue the loop losing streak. More than zero, going to add one to it. Okay, let's see how we do here. What's up? So rather than referring to H4 here, need to refer to, for the last part of the formula, need to refer to column N, so refer to the cell above. Is this what we want? Minus one, one, two, three, minus one, two, three, one, two. So if I now say min and max, I should get those min Let's hit the F4 key. It just, I should have done this when I made the formula. Yeah, just makes the references absolute because I know this is what we're going to do. Going to copy the formula down, Control D, and then just change this to, to min here. That's wrong way around, isn't it? How did that happen? Just bring through the absolute value here, and that, that gets gets rid of the negative, of course. Okay, so we've got the streak in. So if we bring back our chart here, Alt P A P. Hello, charts. And now all we want to do is add one more series to the chart. You, you see that the dates are struggling a bit here. We just want to add another series to this chart. Let's go to select data. Okay, we want to add a series. Just want to just going to put the values in now. <laughs> add well the series name. We could say streak, couldn't we, for the series name and then ser series values. Okay, okay. That now now that's 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 what we've got. So. Is this axis fixed? I would expect this to go down to below zero. So is it going below zero? It's just we can't see it. Maybe the range on this axis is fixed. So I'm going to format the axis. Just clicked on the axis, right click. Okay, so if we reset that, yeah, that's this, this is actually what we want here. So what we want to do is where we've got a situation where one axis is dominating another axis, we can go into chart, we can go to change chart type, and this is where the combo chart is going to help us. So we go to combo here. Now, what do we want? Well, actual and expected, we're actually fine as line charts. So we can change those back to the line. And you can see Excel is going to give us a nice preview here. Now, can we get the bar chart here? Can we get the column chart? Okay, so something like this. So Let's let's see. This is not going to do the job, but it's going to get us part of the way there. OK, so what's the last thing we've got to do? There's only one more change we need to make this axis, the axis with the uh, streaks. Let me just fix how, how it just says one here for the axis title. Ah, OK, yeah, my bad. Oh, and the data is not quite right here, but that should be N5. OK, that's better. Streak, actual and expected. Let's capitalize this. Um, yeah, okay, so there's just one change you need to make. Now, this is that secondary axis that we mentioned earlier in the session. Change chart type, and then we want to put you on the secondary axis, please. One thing you can do with this formatting is if I click on selection, format data series, 
So if you go to the fill here, we do have an option to invert if negative, which means we can create a different color if the bar is negative. This this axis doesn't need to go, go below zero. It's only that axis that needs to go below zero. So if I right click format axis, minimum of zero. Ah, uh, yeah, it's already on zero. Could we change that minimum to one then? So you see with that axis control, adding another axis and then tied to control of the values, we're getting that data, data display a little bit better. Good, so that's a combo chart, guys, using a secondary access. It's Chris here, and if you enjoyed this video, I've got a special treat for you. We've got a full one-hour session from our Members Monday community. It's absolutely free. All you have to do is sign up, put your email into the link below this video. We will email you some information about our fantastic members monday community but it's absolutely free it's a one hour session the link is in the video description below